Kamar here. We're going to be doing the Carabel versus Skull Mage to see which one's better and see which one you guys like more. And m m many of you guys are wondering how I got the uh, her. I got her from the 450. Well, actually, not 450, 250 times I got her. So it's right over here. And also, I forgot to mention the workers are little snowmen now. <laughs> it's actually pretty sick. And I also forgot to mention that she attacks air units. Her special ability, you know, brings up snowman attacks air units. But let's go take a look at her. She's got uh, 331,000 HP and 2,100 attack. And she's got 23,000 HP and uh, 20, uh, 2,100 attack. So the attacks are off by 100 even though, uh, wait, I, do I have anything on her to make her attack higher? No, I don't have anything on her. Skull Mage, I think I have, yeah, that's why. Skull Mage has a level 1. Still, it's a matter, it increases its attack, but the health and the stuff is all different. Their special abilities are, um, Skull Mage's special ability is to uh, strengthen its troops for 15 seconds. Well, not 15 seconds, I think, yeah, I think it's 50 sec 15 seconds, we'll go back in that. And the Caratabell's special ability is to summon a giant snowman for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a pretty long time, and that's honestly pretty sick. So let's go take a look at them in a uh, little uh, rating. All right, not this. <laughs> oh, I'll get totally destroyed. Ooh. All right, we're going to summon... Uh, I'm going to summon Blockhead and Call Mage over there. And we're going to put one over here, and we're going to put one over here. So one's attacking one. The Skull Mage, level 56, is doing damage, damage to level 96. And over here, the one level, uh, here we go, let's use a special ability, jumps in and uh, helps it out. And no, he still survives. Like I said, remember, guys, if she dies, the snowman dies. So right there, the snowman just died. So remember that. If she dies, the snowman dies too. So it's, Skull Mage's special ability is to strengthen the troops for... 15 seconds, so I was right. 15 seconds, I <laughs> see, I forgot. But yeah, if she dies, it still, it still stays. Her special ability is good if you have a three team of Skull Mages, while uh, Caratabelle special only works for a little one snowman for 20 seconds, and that's all. And she's also a shooter, so that's pretty sick too. So let's just end this right now. Let me just, because uh, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose my reputation of losing. I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's for uh, raiding. Raiding, they're good if uh, you have three tanks with you or two tanks. It, it, it all depends. Let's bring them all back. And also, you, you're wondering which one's better. One is 5,000 and the other is uh, 3,000. Yeah, 3,000. One's, th one's 5,000, one's 3,000. So if you're looking for a hero that uh, is like uh, really good and their special ability is good, Caratabelle's special ability is good for uh, tanking and stuff like that. If you ever skill up to a high level, so let's take it, let's go at her. If you ever skill at a high level, then she, then the snowman has more uh, attack, uh, attack, yeah, more attack than uh, her. So if she has uh, 2,100 attack, then the snowman will also have 2,100 attack. So that's double the power, and that's double the fun, and uh, snowman doesn't die as easy as uh, the Skull Mage's troops, the Wizards. The Wizards are good if you if you have them at a high level, so 21 is a good good level. If you use that, and if you have like the Pangoli and the... Uh, Pangoli and the uh, Glory Priest, you can use their special ability and that'll be a double, so double's also good, really good. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, it's three. If you have three of those, strengthen it up and boom, it's all good. But also the troops uh, can get one shot it down easily. Same with the the uh, Caratabelle's uh, troops also. We can uh, She can, uh, you know, one mortar, it's, it's done. All the troops are done. Same with the wizards. If you have the high, of, I mean, a high level of mortars like mine, if you have them at least to level 14. So let's go take a look at this. The one, one shot is 828. And let's go take a look at the troop. The troops HP is uh, uh, 1,600, so two shots of mortars and it's out. And also, the, I also have the magic towers. The magic towers are high level too, then of course you're going to get knocked out. So yeah, one hit for mortar, one hit for magic tower, and they're out. And uh, my uh, will, uh, well, willy foxes, they have 1,800 HP, so they're off by a little tiny bit, but they can still get easily taken down, taken down easy. So they're, they're not like executioners. That's the good thing about them. That's what I like. Well, actually, I don't like that much about them, but they're still that good. This is this is this is for a good uh, rating. If you guys want to get fast gold, I would love. I would say use the Caratabelle, and as also she's a great tank since the snowy can come in and uh, it'll be double the HP and double the attack. 
So many of you guys are wondering, is it just like the weak version of the Tyrone? Well, the Tyrone, uh, you needed to have it as a high level, and uh, it does not. The Tyrone does not have full HP as the as the Caribel. So there's a big difference than that. And also, the Tyrone, you can summon three of them, and uh, I believe when uh, it dies, the other three won't die. But yeah, if you if you have it at a high skill, then yeah, that's how it works. But you're gonna have to need it. You're gonna have to have that hero at a high level to get a lot of HP. But the Caribel Snowy comes with full HP as uh, the hero. So if you have it as a high level, then you're good. What do you guys think? Which one would you prefer, the Caribel with five thousand rings or the Skull Mage with three thousand rings? They're both great epics, and I recommend you guys get both. Why not? Just get both. So, so hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe for more. 